so it's been a while. And a few of you might be wondering where I've been. Probably no one actually, but I'm still gonna tell you what, what's been happening these last almost seven months. So as some of you might know, I'm in college now. This year, it got really hard, the last two semesters more specifically, where I think I spent at least two weeks worth of sleepless nights, meaning seven times 24 times two is however many hours I stayed up. In short, I, I did a lot of work and I was really tired and I didn't have any time for making YouTube videos, which sucks because I really wanted to, but it's like, I legit can't. I don't have the time to do it. I was constantly pulled in every direction, just doing this, doing that. Someone asked me to do this, someone asked me to do that. I should have said this at the beginning. I'm starting to become a mechanical engineer. I'm majoring in that. And at least this year, we've been starting to get more into in-depth in our like how metals work, how materials in general work, other stuff like that, like how force is applied and how shear stresses. And actually this year was like basically about how materials react to like their environment anyway if that doesn't tell you anything this semester this school year was really just difficult and time consuming oh my and i also had three jobs at once at my college i was what was i doing i was a math tutor um i worked the service desk where basically all you do is give the students of the residence hall their packages and then the third thing i do is actually being a 3d printing specialist look at I made a little capybara. Coconut doggy! Which leads me to my next thing to tell you at least is that in January, I started really getting into 3D printing and that's what really took a lot of time after that is that I managed to become somehow the manager, the manager of the place where we do. It's called the Makerspace. Some of the professors there recognized that I was there a lot and they would keep assigning me jobs to do for other professors and other people on campus. When I was like, I can't just deny them. I need to get my name out there so I can get more like opportunities, you know, networking. And then eventually I managed to get actually like a job doing it for a professor there, which was pretty cool. I made good money. Anyway, I was really busy. And the last thing I have to say, at least for this where I've been, is that I just have not really been, I don't know how to say it, but I just haven't really been feeling myself. I'm just constantly not like having any confidence in me or something, I don't know. I self-deprecate a lot. Like I constantly just think like, dude, there's no way in hell I'm gonna be able to do that. I'm never gonna be successful. I'm never this, never that. I don't know. It's just that I'm in this point in my life right now where I do have control over what I what the rest of my life entails, but I also don't. So it's just like, I have no idea if, I have no idea what the future holds. There's anxiety in the back of my head right now, which is like not knowing what the future holds. I just hope it works out in the end. That's what I'll say. My, my main angle. goal is to blow up. My main goal is I really wanna do YouTube. I would love this to be my job, my career. I think it's fascinating. I love the community aspect and I just wanna like share and do all that stuff and just work for myself. I don't wanna work in an office in a cubicle, that's boring. Even that, YouTube is not a for sure thing. It's literally just luck with YouTube's just half-ass algorithm it is right now that favors people that already have a platform. That's gonna actually lead me into my next point, which is what I plan on doing from here now. So no matter what, I still plan on doing this whole YouTube thing. This has been my dream since I was in sixth grade. Like in the back of my head, I'm always thinking about what the next thing I could do to progress my career in YouTube. But the thing is, if I wanna do that, I should be doing what I wanna do, right? How can I enjoy it if I'm not doing what I wanna do? I don't find myself watching gaming content anymore. I don't really find it to be interesting to watch. I like making gaming videos though. I find them fun, but the thing is, is that the gaming sector of YouTube is so saturated with other people also trying to do it that it's just not gonna happen, to be honest. It's the, I believe it's one of the hardest categories to like get into on YouTube, unless you cheat. I figure since it's the hardest one to get into and that I also just don't really watch that kind of content anymore, so why would I even bother making it? I figure I should start doing something different. I do want to still do it, but I think right now is just not the time to do it anymore, unfortunately, if I actually want to progress in this career. So what I've decided to do is that I like to make stuff. I mean, that's why I'm becoming a mechanical, mechanical engineer, right? I want to transition my channel more to like DIY stuff, making stuff and just doing creative engineering type stuff like William Osmond or Michael Reeves or Mark Rober. Never going to get to that level probably. And honestly, I don't want 
too. Although he's really fun and interesting to watch, but his is more aimed at a younger audience. And it's like funny, but it's not like funny. And I want to make funny content still, but I want it to also be like around creative and engineering and DIY stupid crap like that. Like what William Osmond and Michael Reeves do. I want to do stuff like that, but in my own way. So that's what I'm going to try and transition to. I have no idea how I'm going to do it. But in short, I want to make goofy, uh, funny content around DIY engineering. I have a few ideas already in my head that I want to do. Like I've been filming all the stuff I've been doing for the shelf back there actually. And speaking of that, you may have noticed that my whole room setup has changed and I'll get into that at the end of the video. I'll do a little room tour. That's why I have, I've been taking two weeks to like actually make this video from the last one I posted. Yeah, I have a few ideas already in the pipeline what I want to do like even just stupid shit I just want to like film what I'm currently interested in interested in what I'm currently doing now the hard part of going forth with this idea that I want to do with my channel now is that I don't really know how to do anything basically and with building stuff comes a paywall in like buying the materials for projects and stuff like that fortunately though I'm spending six figures to learn mechanical engineering so maybe That'll help me do something when I finish that. But yeah, that is basically it. That's what I plan on doing with my channel. I'm just gonna start making videos on whatever I am interested in currently at the moment because the YouTube gaming sector is just so oversaturated. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Your funny Fortnite Roxanne compilation is gonna totally kick it off for you, isn't it? <laughs> my last points are like, where is this channel gonna go? Is it, am I gonna make a new one? Am I not? No. I'm not. I'm gonna keep using this channel only because I really like the history aspect of keeping this channel. It'll be cool for people to go back within this channel and see the history of everything and what it took for me to finally get here. For me at least. It's really interesting to go look at other people's channels and see that. So I want to do that as well because I find it interesting and I want other people to be able to see that. That's it. I don't know when the next video is gonna come out. Maybe August, early August, hopefully soon. I have the time to do it so it should come out sooner than six months later this time, okay? Let's get to showing off my new room setup. So basically I have a USB extender and I can just drag this everywhere. And I'm also gonna have to drag my mic. Look, it, it's you guys. Hi, say hi. Hi. But um, let's do it. As you might remember possibly, this used to be where my desk is. Oh, sorry, I forgot about the mic. This used to be where my desk was. Now my desk is over here, and I bought the famous Alex Ikea drawers to hold everything. The only thing I really haven't done yet now is the cables, as you can see under here. It's a fucking rat's nest. I'm we're still waiting for new parts and pieces to make this setup pretty cool, and I'm not going to bother doing the cables yet until that shit comes here. If none of you have ever seen my computer, here's what it looks like without the side panels on. Oh, RGB. The lights are totally messed up right now because... Yeah, they just are. I don't feel like explaining it. Screw you. <laughs> Computer. This was basically the result of me getting my first job and having more money than I know what to do with as an 18 year old, basically. So here's my shelf. We got the Black Panther cubby. Look at him over there looking all cute. We got the Tesla shelf. We got the Cybertruck in the back. We got the Minecraft shelf. If you guys also didn't know, I went to Minecon 2016, the last like actual Minecon they did. And I got some pretty cool YouTubers to sign, up, sign it. Look, there's Mumbo. Who else? Jordan, Captain Sparkles. He's pretty cool. Got the Minecon. Minecon special edition sheep and they got another Tesla down here. I built this myself the Lego Tesla model X Here's my shelf look at We've got the Statue of Liberty Lego and he got the epic infinity gauntlet flipping flip We got the epic infinity gauntlet flipping everyone off of course we got the this tower that I think is like in New York or something I don't know Long before time. Let's put the Minecraft Blockopedia that is severely outdated because they can't stop adding blocks to every update. Oh my god, let's see what our fortune is. The jukebox. What does it have? Blast resistance of 30? Wow, I never knew that. What is that? It can stack into 64? It's flammable? It's not flammable. And it drops... The jukebox, holy shit. Here's the desk setup. We got the triple monitor setup. These ones are 165 hertz, and then this one is really shitty. Huntsman Elite, Razer Keyboard, Logitech G903, Gaming Mouse, Tesla Model X, Ski Fob, D Brand, Rubik's Cube, HomePod. Hey Siri, turn my lights purple. Insert cash or select payment type. 
Thanks. Got the Razer Nari with the Razer base station thingy. We got our capybara. Can you focus, please? Glam shot. Way too many iPhones. These ones all work. And then these ones all don't work. But I have them anyway. Can you focus, asshole? There you go. These ones all don't work. But I have them anyway. You know? And a bunch of other Apple crap here. We got the Tesla sign made out of Lego. Damn right. It's my Lego. But you didn't think that, bitch. I know how to use angles and bricks and stuff. I looked it up on Every single iPhone box ever except for the latest ones and the iPhone 12 Pro. I, 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 Look at that. Two iMacs. Both were given to me. I didn't pay for these. I just have them because I kind of just get them. Squid Game. Derberger. And then we have my shelf over here, which I am definitely going to be making a video on of how I did the LED stuff because I think it's pretty cool. We got a bunch of the Lego architecture stuff. Got London, San Francisco, Las Vegas, Shanghai, Dubai, Paris, Space Needle, New York, Taj Mahal. And then we have things I actually got from going to those places. This one, the Shard, which is from London. Hello, Gabna. I'll tell you though, those London people... Am I recording? I hope so. Black Panther. Over here, we got my Funko Pops and other Lego sets. We got Spider-Man, Iron Man, The Child. The Child again. This Ninjago oh. bike thing. I kind of want to live stream just watching those. That would be kind of funny. Comment down below if you would watch. John Wick. Ulysses Claw. Omega. Cybertruck. Back to the Future. What's it called? The DeLorean. Tron Life Cycles. And then on top of the shelf, we got my PS4. Used to use this for, uh playing fortnite specifically because i didn't have that beast over there on top we got the controller and my apple tv for watching so much just so much porn. how to basic eggs in a legally obtained in and out tray tesla roadster diecast model tesla tequila and then we got my tv i've had this thing for i don't even know how long it's been a long time i have no idea to be honest i think it might be like seven years old underneath there's a soundbar from vizio really good soundbar really good that's all i have to say i don't know it's really good i have no complaints and i don't ever want to upgrade it unless it literally dies right here we got my bowling pin that we totally legally obtained from the bowling alley locally more apple shit minecraft potion and then i 3d printed this oreo which we will not talk about what's inside okay cool little canvas print of new mexico albuquerque pretty cool place and then my mom got this for me when she went to hawaii it's a surfboard with a dolphin in it or something actually is that a dolphin i don't know it looks like a whale it's something it's definitely lives in the ocean that's for sure my ipad here i just have it mounted i 3d printed the thing it's stuck to it just uses magnets and then there's me when i played water polo in high school Looking all sexy. Look at those tits, though. I would just... <clears throat> and I have my fuck off sign. That brings me to my next thing. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck off now. Sorry it's been so long. I've been busy. Unfortunately, I do have other priorities other than YouTube. With the help of you, though, I can make YouTube my first priority. I guess I'll see you when I see you in the next video. Bye!